and finally solve the problem. Okay. So what I want to share with you, okay, it's very close to our the end of the class, but uh, okay. Since oh, this is the component of a commercial network, and uh, all of you now have the experience of training a new convolutional neural network. Okay, so I, I think we can go through this slide very very quickly because you have the experience, and uh, uh, all, I think you have the knowledge already. So what is convolution? Now you you almost right. Who doesn't know what is convolution? Please raise your hand. <laughs> And okay, now you have uh, generated layer by layer, and okay, there are some uh, information. We have nonlinear functions, the activation function, okay, so that our neural nets can create uh, those uh, teach actually properties we want. Because the images, natural images or metal, medical images, they are very very high dimensional data. So we need uh, those nonlinear functions to create the classification, segmentation, or detection uh, task. Okay, and the padding strides. Now, I think you have the concepts of what they are, so we won't spend too much time on it. Okay, and how to calculate uh, those, uh, given some parameters, how to calculate the output uh, uh, layer size, and uh, their, I should say, how many, um, Parameters they need to okay. I think now since you have the experience, so you if you are interested in just do some mathematical calculation, it's easy for you. Okay, what, and uh, the important message here is there are several components in a computation. The most expensive one is the multiplication. When you do a calculation uh, just for the C bar ten. For example, okay, given a small image and uh, you use a few uh, convolutional features, and okay, then just for this case, okay, this is the input image, and uh, you have ten, uh, I say, um, filters, and uh, the filters is only five by five. Then you will have sixty uh, seven hundred k multiplication. That's the reason why. Uh, I say, um, LAN net. It was published in 1998, but due to the restriction of hardware, convolutional network was widely used after 2012, after the ethics net. Okay, and uh, here I want to show, if you use uh, ResNet or, um, I see that, Google Net, you will see the one by one convolution. So why is there one by one convolution? Okay, the reason is it was published in 19, uh, no, 2013 from this paper. Okay, the paper title is Network in Network. Okay, and uh, in this paper, it proposed the one by one convolution. You see from LANET, there is no one-by-one -one convolution. And uh, once it's used a few one-by-one -one convolution, it can create the nonlinearity, but it won't edit too many parameters. So it is a method, okay? So it's easier to implement, just use the ReLU. Uh, after the ReLU, this is the first one-by-one one convolution. This is the second one-by-one one convolution. And the, you can see the kernel size is just a one, okay? So it can prevent uh, the model from overfitting. So uh, in the network, in network paper, it proposed another method called global average. Okay, it replaced the uh, fully connected uh, layers in the LANET 5 network, and it turns a good result. How good is it? So let's take a picture. So this is their result. So in 2014, uh, okay, it achieved the state-of-the-art performance. And then once the paper was published, it was quickly used by the other teams. The Google Net, you can see the 
one by one convolution here, and the rest net it is used here. Okay, so okay, now and the Google Net rest net both of them are winners of the image net uh, challenge. Okay, it is one. So here, this is uh, Google Net. It is winner of 2014, and the rest net is the winner of 2015. And uh, this is the CLP part. Okay, so there are many new methods that published after the, the and uh, this is the top one accuracy. This is the top five accuracy. It means, given the 1,000 classes, if your model can predict that yes, this is this, okay, this is the top one accuracy. If your model pick up uh, the top is the five classes, and uh, the ground truth stable is one of the five, that is the top. So you can see top five is greater than top one, all right? And uh, okay, then we run out of time, and uh, <laughs> uh, that's the end of the. Uh, okay, so you are going to do your homework four, right? Homework four is to use any image generator, and uh, because you are the user, and uh, you it is too difficult to you to implement uh, those methods. So pay your attention to what are the the limitation of those models. You want to create uh, some images, but it couldn't do it. Pay your attention to there and uh, report them in your uh, homework uh, for presentation. And uh, next week, uh, you are going to submit uh, your uh, midterm uh, project report. Remember, please remember. That. Okay, so that's the end of the class. Thank you. See you next week. <laughs>